Hello all, it's Regina here from The Cutting Cafe. Um, today for my Watch Me Work video, I don't actually have a Watch Me Work video. I wanted to share with you guys instead a new set that hopefully should be released um, tonight. And it's a new set called a Craft Supply Planner. Um, this little planner is great to help you keep track of all those supplies that you have, the supplies that you need, perhaps supplies that you want to buy in the future, etc. Um, I'm just going to kind of go through how I made um, my planner myself and kind of hit a few of the pages that come inside the set. Um, I went ahead and first got two sheets of 8.5 by 11 chipboard and I covered the front and I covered the backs. Um, I used some paper by my mind's eye and has kind of like some bright pretty colors and it was kind of like a a nice heavy weight. I then had got a matching piece of eight and a half by eleven um, paper that matched one of the prints, one of the colors in here, folded it in half and glued that after I glued the pages to the front oops and the back I glued this kind of trimming border on here and then how I made the little um, pink circles here I just took an eight and a half I mean a five by eleven punch and then punched a small hole in the middle I put those well before I put those on there I made my own little guide because I decided I wanted to do five rings I did five holes put circles inside there with a pin, I mean drew a little hole in the middle with the pin and then I used my crop dowel to punch holes through there and then I added um, the little tab, pink tabs on there. So I'm going to run through some of the different things that come in the set. Um, pretty much I did use all of the different um, pages that come in the set. There may have been only one or two I didn't use. Um, there's certain supplies that I don't really use a lot of. So it comes with a table of contents and I did all of my main pages with a solid sheet of paper you know that kind of matches the colors on the cover. So there's a table of contents um, and it's kind of general just my craft supplies my craft supply inventory table of contents and then I listed what all the different pages are in here. Um, I started out with my cardstock inventory and as you can see, it has cardstock inventory colors I need to replace. And I just put a little quote on here, staple a small piece in each square. You can pretty much do this however you want. Um, this sheet also does come with colors that I have. And I think it might come, but I can't remember if I put in here colors that I wanted. Um, then again, maybe I didn't put that in there. But anyways, I went ahead and just cut them all in a heart of the different things, the different papers that I that I need to replace. And I just put on here eight and a half by 11, or if I need it 12 by 12. And it does come with a little line here that says name and brand. Pretty much you can write in there the color name, the brand, whatever works for you. And of course, well, one other thing I wanted to mention was that one good thing about this planner is it's set up for an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper and I did wider margins on the side that you can use rings, bind it all, and I also did the somewhat the same margins on the right side. So that way you could in turn not waste any paper, print on one side, and then print on the back as well, which is what I did. Um, the margins here look a little smaller only because I cut down the pages so that you would see more of the color on the end and not have um, the inside pages come all the way to the edge. I just kind of like the look better. Now granted, I only printed out one page of the cardstock inventory that I need to replace and then I put on the back the colors that I have. And that's only because I don't plan on printing a whole bunch of sheets to list every single cardstock color that I have because I have several. I just pretty much did a sheet to list the ones that I need 
and I'm only planning on put on here the ones that I use a lot of. I use a lot of white, blacks, and craft, and there's a few others that I'm gonna put on here as well. And then if I decide I need more, I'll just print out another page or two. Then there's the um, punch and die cuts. Again, I'm not planning on printing out a whole bunch of sheets of and, and cutting out all the ones I have, just mainly the ones that I use a lot and the ones that I need to reference more of. So again, it says name and brand. I just put the hearts that I have, the circles, a few butterflies, things that I wanna remind myself that I have. Same with on the back. Then I have the liquid pearls. And this just has the colors that I have. And then there's another sheet with the colors that I need to replace. Um, I pretty much haven't filled out everything yet, but this just has the name. You can put the color name, you can put the brand. I've made it just very generic um, so that you can pretty much put in whatever you wanna put in. Then there's the same with the glitter inventory. I have the colors I have. Again, there's the name. Um, however you wanna work that yourself. And I still, like I said again, I still need to fill in a lot of different um, sections of the book and then the colors I need to replace. Then there's the stickles, same thing here. And also, this has the bigger squares because this is the first way I did it, but in reality, they're just they're smaller. We can get more on a page. I went back and redid that. Um, again, colors I have, colors I need to replace. Then there's the marker inventory. Now, I did not do sheets for all the different markers that are out there because the sheets could go on and on. I mean, you've got Stampin' Up, you've got Copics, um, it could go on and on. Pretty much this is just a general page. I know all of these are my Copics. It has the name and the brand. I just put the number and the color. You can, if you don't want to use the marker sheet, you can use the different sheets that you can get from the companies and stick it in your book, however you want to work it. So I have those all in here, pretty much all the ones I have, and this will be the ones I need to replace, etc. cetera. Um, then there's the washi tape, and the squares are a little bit bigger to accommodate um, bigger size washies. Um, ink collection, same thing as the uh, marker thing. Basic pages. Um, I didn't want to try to list every different ink collection or maker that's out there. So I have on here paint pads and sprays, etc. You can maybe cross that out and just put it just your sprays. Spray on a piece of paper, then staple it on here. I went ahead and kind of dashed on here the colors that I have. Now I only have a few on here because there's only a few inks that I usually use to distress things with. Um, and then I have on here my two favorite ink pads that I use for everything. Now, I do own a whole lot more ink. I might in turn stamp some on here or get a little, um, use the same heart and stamp them on here. I just haven't decided how I'm going to do that yet. Um, let's see. Then there's the stamp collection. Oh, yeah. And mostly all of the titles have the colors I have, the colors I need to replace. There's the stamp collection. Now what I do with the stamp collection is I made some of the squares um, small, and then there are bigger squares, and there's big and long. So you can in turn um, use whatever size sheet you want and stamp the images in there. And I didn't also dedicate the stamp collection by vendor or brand because it could go on forever and ever. One good thing though that I did do for the stamp collection is even though it just has the one tab that says stamp collection, I did, let me get it here, include in the set mini tabs that can go with that, like sentiments, um, flowers, occasions, animals, holidays, etc. So you could start out the page, I mean start out the one section with um, stamp collection, and then you can have another tab, flowers, put all the flowers behind there, etc. 
Um, I have yet to put mostly everything in this book. I haven't really decided if I'm going to print out a whole bunch of sheets and put a lot of my stamps in. I'm not sure because I don't do a lot of I don't do a lot of stamping. So I might just put the ones I don't want to forget that I have, like the sentiment stuff like that. And there's a um, section for embossing powder. I went ahead and just used a flower stamp, stamped a bunch of the colors on here. And I just have the, the name of the color, but not the vendor, because I know who they came from. And again, I have a lot more to fill in for this. Um, there's a, there is embossing folders. This one I haven't even done anything with yet, but this is kind of one of the things I really love is because I have so many embossing folders that I forget which ones I have. So I'm planning on running all of them through on a little piece of paper. Well, um, probably a three by three or two by three, stapling them on here so I don't forget which ones I have and I can look through the book to reference that. So I'm pretty sure I'll load this up with a whole, a whole lot more sheets. Then there's miscellaneous inventory. Um, you can use this for maybe um, when you need glues, um, ribbon, staple a little piece of ribbon on there that I have a whole bunch of these, don't buy that. However it is you want to use this sheet of paper, use this um, sheet. Then there is, um, some of these I put two tabs on because I started off with something here, and then the back would have something else. So this one says, uh, favorite craft shops and embellishments. So this one's kind of still a generic one. Embellishment inventory, brads, eyelids, buttons, flowers, etc. There's small um, squares here, mean, bigger section, lines. You can just fill that in however it will, will benefit you to help you to remember what you have and what you need and then here has the favorite craft shops the name address contact and what they sell so you don't forget what they sell then same thing here I did um, shopping list wish list and here's the wish list item order number place to buy check it off when I get it and craft supply, shopping list, etc. This is a good sheet to when you um, jot down the different things in here that you need to replace, you might want to jot it down here, take it out of your book and take it with you when you go to a craft store so you know what you need to buy, etc. Then there's a tab for coupons and in the set comes um, a pocket that you can stick your coupons in here or you can stick other crafting notes gift cards, what have you. And then there's a tab for miscellaneous. And a few of the other tabs that came with this, come in the set is Cricut, Cricut cartridges, um, that you can list the ones you have and the ones you want to get. Um, let's see, I think I went over most of these. I'm not sure if I put favorite digital shops inside the book or not, but there is a sheet for that. And there's a sheet for acrylic paint, which is a generic one as well. And one for decorative scissors, which is a good one too. If you do a lot of if you do a lot with decorative scissors, you can cut out a piece and post that on your inventory sheet. So pretty much that sums it up. Um, I did the same thing with the back, covering the front, I mean covering the pieces the same way. Not really sure if I'm going to leave this planner with these tab with these rings because sometimes these rings get kind of stuck and it's hard to flip the pages over. See like kind of like that. But for right now um, I liked I like the way it looked. So anyway just wanted to go over um, this planner and even if you don't craft and you know someone who does this would be a great uh, Christmas gift, birthday gift, um, you can just pretty much put every sheet in there and they could always run it off to make more sheets and they would love it. So thanks for stopping by and check out the Cutting Cafe for this set to be released hopefully tonight. Thank you.